Hi guys, so a quick video on server log analysis. Now, I'm sure many of you, um, first and foremost, will know where to get your server logs first. Um, so I'm going to show you where to get them if you've got your cPanel account or whatever. Um, so what you need to do before you do any server log analysis is um, go to metrics and go to raw access. And what you'll find is you've got archived raw logs and you've got um, a bunch of different files here um, based on, on your own website. Um, and obviously I've got November's logs here. So I can click here, download um, these logs from my website. Um, and there's quite a lot of them there. So yeah, that's where you get them from first and foremost. Now, obviously server log analysis was initially uh, kind of technical thing that a lot of people didn't know how to do um, and one of the old ways to do it was use Screaming Frog's um, SEO log file analyzer and you can download that um, which was fairly low cost I believe there was a free version and um, paid version so there are free and paid versions of Screaming Frog and you could upload your log files there analyze them see what bots are hitting your, your pages and whatnot um, so that all works well and that's pretty much what a server log analysis guy would do for you. There are various other tools and some people have got their own bespoke stuff and, and various other bits and bobs. But one of the main tools out there is SEMrush and they now have a log file analyzer. Um, <coughs> and it's in beta mode just now, um, so it's, you know, it is still being developed and uh, they are still messing about with it. Um, and if you just go down to the second bottom option on here at present, you are able to then play about with your server logs and upload them to SEMrush, which then gives you them in a nice, clean, easy to understand platform. So what you can do is obviously download them um, from the raw access there. You obviously want to uncompress them, so you just click on the the compressed version and it'll open up, um, and then you drop your files in. So that was my files there, and um, so I click open and drop the files in there. The tool does take five or ten minutes to analyze um, your logs, and then it spits out a report that looks a lot like this. So this is obviously my server log analysis from November. So you can see the bot, the status code, file type. Um, <coughs> you can obviously see all the kind of pages here and you can filter all this kind of stuff down to successful pages, file types, and various other bits and bobs. Um, and obviously the, the path, you'll obviously see the path here. So you can obviously see the bots are hitting my plugins um, and stuff like that as well. And you can see all this kind of data. So you can break it all down. So the, the, the file paths are all here. Um, the bot hits are there. Share of the hits percentage is there. And obviously um, what we ask for, so we, we when I say we, I mean same rush. I invited 40 people over to Finland um, and we worked with a product developer and, and this was one of the tools that we worked on and what people in the majority of SEO experts were there were, wanted to see the crawl frequency and the last crawl, that's what was asked for um, and the last status as well. So you can see here the crawl frequency every 23 minutes, it was last crawled at this time here. Um, and you can obviously see the last status code on them as well. So um, obviously 200 is a good thing. Um, but yeah, you obviously want to work your way through um, and analyze your server logs. Um, now you can do all Google bots, Google desktop bot or Google smartphone. <coughs> so you can check those out. You can obviously check um, other bots at present. Um, that is something that may or may not come in the future. You'd have to ask them rush that part. But I think for the vast majority of people out there, um, the Googlebot is the one that's the most important. It's the one 
that we all we all want to rank well in Google and we all want to make sure that the Google bot likes our website and can get in about our pages and it can frequently crawl those pages and, and stuff like that. Um, and we want to see what's going on there. Um, so you can obviously filter all of this information down by file type. Um, you know, if it's the HTML files you're wanting to check out, then you can check all them out there. And obviously the HTML files are all my kind of blog posts and whatnot on the website. And we can see that some of those are redirected and some of them are just pages that are working um, well. Um, but you can obviously filter all that kind of down down for yourself and you can obviously filter it by path um, but that is entirely up to yourself um, how deep you want to analyze your, your server logs um, <coughs> it's, it's it's great to find out how the bots are hitting your website and I think obviously for me who is not by any stretch of the imagination a server log analysis expert, you know, it's not something that, you know, I obsess over. There are certainly guys out there. Um, one, for example, is Andy Halliday, who is a geek on this type of stuff and is obsessed with it and, you know, is a net expert in server logs. Um, I think Don Anderson's another one. Um, and these guys are right into their server logs and, you know, check this stuff out on a regular ongoing basis because obviously you can identify problems with Googlebot hitting your pages and stuff like that and, and obviously make adjustments to your website as a result of that. Um, but what, what I find really helpful is having it in a nice, clean, easy to understand dashboard, which is what SendRush have brought into play. Um, and obviously it's very easy for someone who's not as technical um, as some of the other ones I mentioned to be able to understand and then implement changes to their website as a result of these server logs. So server logs is not a big thing. Amazing that SEMrush have brought this out. Um, if you're not a SEMrush subscriber, you can do it the old fashioned way um, through Screaming Frog. And if you Google some other stuff, you know, there are, there are other places you can upload your server logs to. And that will allow you to do server log analysis. Um, but for me, SEMrush is a tool that many agencies or freelancers or whatever you may be, will be using. And it's just another great feature that SEMrush have added on top of all the other kind of stuff you can see here that's all been added. Um, so that is how you do server log analysis. Um, <coughs> obviously, I can't show you individual websites and you know stuff like that, but obviously you want Google or the Google bot to be able to freely crawl your website and not find broken pages and all that kind of stuff. So that's the end goal. So the green line is where you want to be at um, and obviously you can see it's up and down up and down up and down for one reason or another um, but that's obviously something we, we always look to strive to to better our own websites so hopefully that gives you a bit more of an update on server log analysis how you can analyze your files and also where you can find your server logs because a lot of people don't even know where they can find that so this is where you can find your server logs and um, within your control panel and um, so hope that helps